Who is Bill O'Reilly? Is he a patriot, a blowhard, a braggart, a bully? Well, it turns out there's a lot more to him than any of that. Since we sat down in 2004, he has maintained his domination of cable news. Competitors have tried to copy him. And four nights a week, perhaps the ultimate flattery, Stephen Colbert, parodies him on Comedy Central. But we found the man talking about himself full of surprises. And he began with one. You know, you're responsible for this O'Reilly deal. And I always tell everybody, you got a problem with me? You call Mike Wallace. He's responsible for the O'Reilly deal. What are you talking about? When I was growing up, I didn't care about the news at all. I had no interest in the news. But my father liked you. Are you serious about that? I'm serious. No, shit. I, I, I'm serious about everything, okay? You, and I said, that guy, he's pretty interesting. Because he's given people a hard time, which is what you did. So then when I got older, and I said, there were three guys that I watched. You, Howard Cosell. This is Howard Cosell. Loved him. Father hated him. And Tom Snyder. Because Snyder knew how to work that camera. Yeah. You were the three. So you're responsible. Howard's dead. You can't blame him. But you're still here. So if you don't like me... You go to Wallace. Incidentally, let me interrupt. Your wife has told you don't point yeah. at Mike. Yeah, that was the advice I was but giving. But you keep pointing. I know. I can't. I can't. Go ahead. Can't stop. He does do a lot of finger pointing. You know if that. you were running the country, you kidding? he'd still be sitting there. How do you know that? On his nightly Fox News program, The O'Reilly Factor. You're not going to get me to defend Saddam Hussein. I'm not. You know, You're no. his biggest defender in the media. You enjoy the arguing. You enjoy... Peddling what you call justice, you enjoy taking on people on your show. Sure. It's a battle of wits. Who's the quicker draw intellectually? I enjoy the joust. And I think people enjoy watching the joust. And that's one of the reasons we're real successful. Roll 81, check. You're watching the number one program on cable news. Enter the the O'Reilly Factor is the highest rated hour on any cable news channel. He told us that over 20 million people a week watch the show. But there are millions more who hear him on radio stations. He's a syndicated columnist and a best-selling author. All of it made possible by the enormous success of his cable show. Enter the no-spin zone on the O'Reilly Factor. The concept was simple enough. Bring the op-ed page to television. What Jimmy Carter should do is privately give Mr. Bush's opinion and shut up publicly. The factor is all about opinions, O'Reilly's opinions. This is about the leaders of Iran. Right. They're nuts. All right, let me take. They're not nuts. Yeah, they're they not nuts. These mullahs are. The factor formula works. Uh, keep up the great work. It's made him incredibly popular, and incredibly unpopular too. When I tell people I'm going to do a profile of O'Reilly, oh, wonderful, wonderful. Don't let him off the hook. Go get him. Bring him down. You're the guy who can do it. Why? Why do they want me to be brought down? That's, you can answer your own question. I right. can't. I don't know who you hang around with. I suspect they're pinheads, but I don't know for sure. People tell us they dislike him because of encounters like these. See, I'm more angry about it than you are. So what about George Bush? What about George Bush? You had nothing to do with it. Asking a student to stay in the closet in order to go I'm to school. I'm asking you to shut like up about sex. African. Why did you have to tell him you were an atheist if you didn't have any trouble reading the oath? Why didn't you just shut up? That's not, that's not an interview. That's a lecture. Oh, I lecture where I'm a commentator. We went back and did research on the last six years of the factor. Do you know how many times I told people to shut up? Mm. Six. Three times in anger and three times just, yeah, you didn't want to shut up about things. My program, it's free country. my house. No, no, no. It's not a free country. My house. You're disrespectful in my house. You're putting things out there that are defamatory in my house. You're going to get taken to the cleaner. Don't call me a liar, pal. And outside his house is no different. On Tim Russert's cable show, O'Reilly was paired with New York Times columnist Paul Krugman. You are in with the most vile form of defamation is yeah, You to... are pandering to it, there and I resent it, sir. Well, we resent you, too. But his most notorious encounter developed at a book fair when he took on humorist Al Franken about a book Franken wrote, saying O'Reilly had lied publicly on a number of occasions and used a splotchy picture of him on the cover. He writes it in his book. He tries to make me out no, to no, be no, a No, 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 that's... Shut up!
No, you had your up. 35 minutes. Shut up. This isn't this your is show, what this guy Bill. does. Their very public battle was about a number of things, one of which was that O'Reilly had said he was an independent. Franken showed he had registered Republican. She's a vicious, and that is with a capital V, person. What upsets you so that when Al Franken calls you a liar and proves it? Proves it bull. Shall I give you a book, chapter, and verse? Why, about why bother? It's a, it's a character assassin. Why lower yourself to that kind of a discourse? Why does it get you so upset? Because it's dishonest, it's parasitical, and it's character assassination. Why wouldn't I get upset? But right or wrong, O'Reilly likes to get upset. Oh, that's shut up! O'Reilly was raised Irish Catholic in Long Island, New York, the son of a middle-class accountant. He said his dad was an underachiever who came to blows with him as a teenager, but his dad made him scrappy, which has served him well in his career. First, though, he had to work his way through college painting houses. Painting houses taught me something. I didn't want to paint houses. <laughs> his first job in TV was in a small market, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Not like Maria Shriver, with all due respect to her, nice woman, who started in Los Angeles. Why? Because her name is Maria Shriver. O'Reilly starts in Scranton, Pennsylvania, with the coal miners. I loved it. My folks. Well, give me a break. Why are you comparing yourself all of a sudden with Maria Shriver? Because I'm telling you that this road I took had to be taken. There was no other way to do it. For the record, Maria Shriver started in Philadelphia as a low-level assistant. As for O'Reilly, his career took off in 1996 when the fledgling Fox News Channel bought into his idea for a high-energy op-ed TV show. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching on our very first day. And by 1998, it was a bona fide hit. Must-see TV for the conservative right. Tonight, the Republican convention is underway, and we are right in the middle of it. In the old boys club there welcomed him with open arms. Oh, yeah, the big man. There he is. Some folks would expect this reception for Bill O'Reilly, a favorite of conservatives. But what you don't expect are views that sound more like they're coming from a Democrat. You're pro-gun control, right? Correct. Against the death penalty. Correct. For civil unions for homosexuals. For everybody. Not just homosexuals. For everybody. For gay adoptions. As a last resort. I'd rather have nice, responsible, gay home than the system for four kids. What else? Any other things that... Might environment. Say? Environment. Government's got to be proactive on environment. Global warming is here. All these idiots are running around and say it isn't here. That's ridiculous. And there's more. He supported President Bush on the Iraq war, but declared that he would never trust the Bush administration again if no weapons of mass destruction were found. What happened to Saddam's chemical arsenal? Do you know? No, I don't know. We thought we'd have stockpiles. Uh, we do know he had the capability of making weapons. Iraq is why the O'Reilly finger has often pointed at the Bush White House. And a huge mistake was made in underestimating the aftermath of Saddam. Who made it? Rumsfeld. I think Rumsfeld has to take the uh, responsibility there. Because he's the uh, defense uh, secretary and... It looks like he didn't have a clue that this was going to happen. But just like a baseball manager, I think he should take one for the team. Last December, Secretary of Defense Rumsfeld did resign. As for O'Reilly, back in 2004, just weeks before the presidential election, he said he still had not made up his mind. You're going to vote for George W. Bush? Oh, yeah. You think he's a great president? <laughs> right? <laughs> Wrong. You don't I'm, think I'm, 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 op I'm one of those independent men. I'm open to per be persuaded either way. I've known Kerry for 25 years. And? He's a patriot. I'm listening to what he has to say. What do you think about the guys from the Swift Boats? Not his own buddies, but the other guys from the Swift Boats that were bad-mouthing Kerry. Awful. It's terrible. I just, it makes me sad that this happens. And one more surprise, he does not consider himself part of what he calls right-wing radio. So you don't respect Limbaugh particularly? I, I respect Limbaugh for basically making a success out of himself and, and putting on an entertaining program. 
but he's not a primary source of information, or shouldn't be. He's an entertainer. He's an entertainer. And you're not an entertainer? I'm a journalist who provides a program that is entertaining. Mm -hmm. And he says he's still just a regular guy from Long Island, despite the fact that he makes an estimated $10 million every year from TV, radio, and print. When you're a working class guy, like I used to pay oh, houses. give me a break. You're a working class guy? <laughs> I am. Like, come on, you know that. You are addicted to the power. You are addicted to the money. You are addicted to the fact that by I am Bill O'Reilly, and everybody knows it. Dr. Phil is back. Uh, how did, come on, how did come he on, get come in the room? You're crazy. I couldn't care less about Bill O'Reilly being known in Iowa. Doesn't matter to me. I don't throw my weight around. I'm not partying with Puff Daddy. I'm not cutting the line. I'm not driving a Mercedes Benz. Again, for the record, his wife has a Mercedes, but he says he won't get in it. Bottom line, though, he is one of the most provocative news figures in America, and for him, that's enough. I'll never win any awards for stuff I'm doing now. Because the, because the intelligentsia who distributes the awards thinks that I'm misguided. I'm a barbarian. I am a hun. And you hate that. No, I love it. No, you I love, love it. I love to be the outsider. 